The U.S. gives $1.6 billion a year in aid to Egypt, second only to Israel in the Middle East and globally. But military and economic aid doesn't mean the two countries are on the best of terms these days. You know, I don't think that uh, we would consider them an ally, uh, but we don't consider them an enemy. Not an ally. U.S. officials, including the president, have used the term to describe the U.S.-Egypt relationship both before and after the revolution. You know, Egypt's been an ally of ours on uh, a lot of critical issues. Obama's comments on Wednesday came before Egypt's president, Mohamed Morsi, assured him Egypt would take all measures to secure the U.S. embassy. Violent protests have been ongoing since Tuesday, sparked by an amateur film clip made in the U.S. that denigrates the prophet Muhammad. American officials were quick to point out that ally is used to describe two countries that have a mutual defense treaty, which the U.S. and Egypt do not. I think that uh, ally is a legal term of art. If Morsi didn't get the message that the U.S. will not tolerate violence on its embassy in Cairo, the Secretary of State doubled down. We all, whether we are leaders in government, leaders in civil society, or religious leaders, must draw the line at violence. The ties between Egypt and its most generous benefactor have been strained in recent months as the new government struggles to resume its traditional role as a regional power. The challenge now for the U.S. and Egypt is to figure out how to transform their relationship in light of all of the political changes in the region. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, the State Department.